Hello, if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got this old set of drawers that seem better days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sprucing it up a little bit. And next to it is a very, very tired looking filing cabinet, which is also going to get the same glam treatment. To fix my filing cabinet up, I'm going to be using this glitter book covering and I'm just going to be covering the, the whole drawer. I'm going to be using these napkin holders which I managed to get off Amazon and they're just little cardboard pieces which I'm going to make into some decorations to put on my filing cabinet. For my decorative pieces that I'm going to be putting around my filing cabinet and even though I fit them onto little skewers they're still very very fragile so what I'm doing now is I'm taking some really thick cardboard and I'm going to be and tracing that out onto the cardboard and then cutting it out. Now when you put the two together the one is going to be 16, 16 and a half centimeters long and the other one from the top to the bottom is 21 and a half centimeters and you just have to make four going left and four going right because the tops are different but you can do them all the same and then just flip them. I've got all my patterns drawn out and now I'm just going to cut them all out. I've got all my pieces cut out and I've just laid all my little pieces on top and now I'm going to be taking some masking tape and just putting it on all the edges and then bending them over. To make a nice clean edge. I'm going to go all the way around on all of them. I've got all the pieces covered now and now I'm going to be painting them all with ace black acrylic paint. On the little things they've got a small wee little tab like that. So on the top one I'm going to be cutting that off. On the bottom one I'm keeping that attached so I can glue that piece onto there. And now I'm going to take some hot glue and glue the little pieces to my pieces of cardboard. When you're gluing it, make sure that you're only gluing in this small section here and you're not going to have any glue exposed in the middle. So I'm just gluing on the very, very tips of my piece of cardboard. And then just do all of them the same. That's the normal length of the design. I'm cutting off one and a half. So I'm just leaving one and a half a piece. And the same on the other side. I'm going to be using a little paper, which is a mirror reflective paper. I'm going to be gluing that down on the sides like that. The surface on the top is very rough, so I'm going to be using aluminium foil to cover the top. And then I'm going to be taking some of this craft spray adhesive and I'm going to be gluing it down. I've glued it all down and as you can see it gives it a very nice smooth surface. I'm going to be using some of my diamond bling wrap and I'm going to be wrapping it around the side of my handle and I've also got these uh, 12 millimeter round AB crystals, which I'm going to be placing in the handle like that. So I'll be gluing those ones all in place like that. And now I'm going to be taking the little pieces that we made and I'm going to be, and now we're going to hot glue those into my drawers. So that's the one drawer, and now I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the top drawer. To cover the sides here, I'm going to be using some of this clear PVA glue and I'm using sealer paper, which is pretty much a mirror reflective paper. It's a one way mirror. I'm going to be gluing that all the way down the sides. To go around the top over here, I'm going to be using these mirror mosaic stickers and these are 10 by 10s. And I'm going to be using three rows. 
they're just the little self-adhesive ones so you just peel back and stick them down to cover this small section that's going around the lock i'm going to be using flexible mirrors for that i'm just cutting small strips and then i'm just going to peel off the protective layer so that's the before and we'll look at the after so there's my garden cabinet completed now next to the old set of drawers which have also been spruced up if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up really appreciate it if you would subscribe thank you so much for watching